The search is intensifying for three children who are still missing after their family's SUV plunged off a cliff in Mendocino. Hannah, Devante, and Sierra Hart haven't been seen in more than a week. The bodies of their three siblings, along with their mothers, were all found in or near the wreckage of their SUV. Now, police think one of the women deliberately drove that vehicle off a cliff. Today, searchers scoured a six mile stretch of coast between McCarricker State Park and Noyo Harbor. KPI X5. Wilson Walker's in Mendocino County with a big new piece of evidence in the investigation. Wilson? Yeah, Alan, an, an investigation unfolding in sort of two fronts right now. One, what might have led up to this incident, but the main focus today was on this coastline. I'm standing just north of Fort Bragg, but south of where the car made that plunge into the ocean. And the focus today, hopefully, finding out what happened to those three children who are still unaccounted for. It was an effort coordinated from this command post at McCarricker State Park. 71 searchers from eight agencies fanned out along six miles of Mendocino coastline looking for any sign of the three children still missing after last week's fatal car plunge. Now, the idea was to use today's low tides to give rope teams access to rocky areas that were previously unsafe because of high surf. Now, meantime, the California Highway Patrol is conducting something of a parallel investigation in the hopes that those three missing children were not in the car. Those investigators are retracing the Hart's last steps, and that has produced this photograph of Jennifer Hart buying some groceries at the Safeway in Fort Bragg the day before the family's car was discovered at the bottom of the cliff. But as for where the family went and what they were doing between that grocery stop and the crash, investigators simply do not know. All right, as to the question, as to the question of, of whether or not those three children were in the car, in the early days of this investigation, we were told that the presumption was that they were, in fact, in the car. But I want to read you the language from the latest press release here uh, as to whether or not they were in the car, not in the car. Quote, at this point, there is no obvious information to suggest either possibility. So they're kind of operating on the assumption that Yes, they were in the car, but also working on the assumption that or maybe they were not. Now, one thing they did find today near the scene of where the, the car landed was a cell phone. They have confirmed late today that a cell phone was found in that area, but they have not told us whether or not it is specifically tied to this case or whether there's any information on that phone that might provide some answers. We are live on the Mendocino coastline. Wilson Walker, KPIX 5. Yeah, if they are... Uh... We're in the car. Let's hope they are safe tonight. Wilson Walker, thanks so much.